Today's Captain's Blog is made possible by a grant from Tom. Thank you, sir. Hey, Lucas. Yeah, very much. So it's really important when you're putting your propeller on and all that, mm -hmm. you can use nylocks, you can use regular nuts. You cannot ever use something that looks like that. Oh, fly nut? No, that's a uh, wing nut. Wing nut, wing nut. Yeah, you can't use that ever for this. You know why? Because the wind could catch it. And no, because right this, is, this is a motor and propeller, mm -hmm. and those are wing nuts. This Power is a propeller. Not it's not. It's an airfoil yeah. with torque. Is this what I want? I might even have a nylock for you. Oh, shit. I can't handle that level of luxury. It's a 3 mil. It's 3 mil? Mm -hmm. Two stroke. Puppy! Hi, Meathead. How you doing? Right. Let's get a wrench on it so you can tell you past the nylon, but there you go, bud. That's lovely. Thank you, sir. Yep. Yeah. No, you're not going to use that propeller no, I'm anymore. Just looking. That's, okay. Yeah, this is smaller. Yeah. No, yeah. This is smaller, but you're not using a DC. Did you see the motor he had on this? Yeah. yeah you got to well, see still this. Has, this plane is 11 years old. So he's got this antique sitting here with a brushed DC motor, and it had a 72 megahertz analog radio, and then it had a nickel metal halide battery. So I'm like, yeah, you're in for a whole new world. So. This little motor is going to replace that giant can, and it's going to sit right back here, okay? It's going to make that thing way lighter. All the yeah, <laughs> and we're going to turn the propeller around so you're running it as a pusher prop. Um, here, Batman, hold that a second. Because right now, this propeller, would it would push. In fact, it would probably even fly. But there's a difference between it will and it will well. So we're just going to turn the prop around that way. And put our little nut on. And then drop Dude, that the was the only nylock. It's all right. I got, I got skills. So now the motor's going to turn this way, and we're going to have to have we got to use a nylock, and we got to have it nice and tight because it's going to want to unscrew that. Okay. This this wants to be a tractor prop, not a pusher prop, with this shape, the motor, and all that jazz. But we'll make it work. It's not the best solution, but it's not the best plane. It's not. But if we can make it work, man, it'll be cool. I think so. I'm very interested to see how this does. Also, um, do you guys have rubber bands? Rubber bands? I used to be a bass player in a rubber band. Haha. Uh -huh. No, the, um, the wings need to be strapped down by rubber bands. Yeah, it's pretty wow. common. And I'm sure the office team has a rubber band they can hook you up with. All right, so now you've got a motor, you've got an ESC, and you've got you've got some soldering to do is what you've got. Yes, I do. Because we're going to have to figure out how these three wires want to connect to this, so you get to figure that out, your pin out. But these three wires are going to connect in here, and the one that says throw, Okay. that's throttle. Okay. So those three connect into there, but you got to figure out your pinout on this, which is easy, and your pinout on this, which is not hard. And then these two go to your battery. Okay, how do I get those to go to my battery? You're going to solder new wires on there. And we're going to have a battery connection, and we're going to have to find a battery that'll fit. So once you find a battery you want to fit it, then you got the connector on the battery, and then you know what you need to solder onto these, and you'll solder on a little lead and a thing. And once you have that and this in here, yeah. All we gotta do is bind a radio to this, and this is an orange, so it's spectrum compatible. It's DSM2, and and I'll give you a little radio over there that you can use okay. for testing. I've got one. I keep a DX6I out here just for stuff like this. At which point this should spin up, and then we take and you've got aileron, elevator, rudder, gear, and aux one. So you're gonna take your elevator and rudder, yep. those, and we'll figure out what turns what and. This one's your rudder, and this one's your elevator. And then you've got throttle, and you've got a basic three-channel setup, and you're good to go. The hard part you got to solve is figure out how to mount this in there. Now, on this motor, it just mounts on the outside of the can, because this motor is an in-runner motor. 
so you've got a little armature down the middle. This is a modern day outrunner motor, so you can't just clamp onto here, because if you do that, this will spin and it'll just rip itself apart. So you got to mount to these four holes here, so you got to make a plate and just mount that on. A small plate. What I would do, yeah. cheap and simple, remove this motor and see how on the back you've got this? Yeah. I would just bolt this on there. I'd make a little aluminum backer plate, like a really basic little thin aluminum backer plate. Now I could get which is small aluminum. You just find a little piece of aluminum and drill four holes in it. Okay. And put that on the inside, bolt this right to it, and then it's it's pretty solid. Yeah. And then you just run your wires up the inside. Your ESC can live up here. You run these leads. You can put your ESC and radio all right up here. And then just run servo leads down to these here. And servo lead that, and you're good to go. It's easy. I'd put the battery far up in the nose. Yeah. Um, and we'll just find a suitable battery. Because um, this is a pretty light airplane, so you don't need a lot. What's the rule on center of gravity? Like the middle. Yeah, but what's the rule on center of gravity? The rule? Nose heavy airplanes fly, fly. poorly. Tail heavy airplanes fly once. So we want it, if, if we have to err on battery size, we go a little big. Yeah. Because it's better to have it a little nose heavy and fly a little dopey than have it tail heavy and just. Yep. Okay. All right. You're on it. Figure it out. Okay. Sounds good. Bug me after you have the motor motor. Okay. Okay. Sounds good. Okay. Can you not. It, Please go there. Move the dog. Blow the chips off the dog. And scoop up the chips because the dog is stupid. Thank you, sir. How you doing? Doing good. How about you? Another fun-filled day. We're almost. Is that it for the little rail? Oh man, we're almost done. We're gonna have to cut this one too. Yep, we'll cut that one down too. But that. Piece at a time, man. We're getting there. I, I like rail hinge happening over here. That's a new one. You got art happening there. <laughs> Lucas is making a motor mount. Are you excited? I'm very excited, actually. I want to get this one up in the air. This is cool. This is very cool. Okay. Okay. Sounds good. All set? Yep. Cool. Now you've got the directions. So, can I use the notcher? Maybe. I, want, well, I was going to do a test cut, make sure it'll actually cut this. It'll totally cut it. Let me well, try. Well, we gotta, we gotta, might have to adjust it to cut this thick. Well, this is thick enough that I think it should be fine. It's thin stuff, but it's good. Hey, Bruce, hold yeah. this a second, please. I'm going to try a thing. This is going to be cool. I'll let you align it. Get, get in here, this is neat, this is neat. We got this donated a while back. You want to grab yourself some stuff? What's he going to do? I don't know, it might explode. I don't think it's going to explode. It's the first actual project we've got to use this for. Are you ready? Yep. Where you want to be? Yep. Okay. Oh, shit. Stand on that. Thank you. You ready? Hey, Batman. Yeah. I don't think it's gonna cut it. <laughs> what? It? I don't think so. Either. I think I think you got more plate than I certainly have lead in my ass. That's for sure. It's alright. I think we work. Man. I know you were. Excited. I was so excited. I was so excited. It might actually cut this thickness. It just might have to be adjusted. I think it's aligned all right. I think it just doesn't. Sadness is real. Uh, 
sure that hole's big enough for that? Yeah. Okay. Did you get bored? Did you get tired? Do you need a nap in a juice box? I would. I'm actually pretty thirsty, so if you're offering. You want you want a nap in a juice box? If you're offering. I can make that happen. Yay! Batman? Yeah. Lucas needs a juice box. Okay. Last I knew you had a stash. It's been a while since. You don't have a stash of juice boxes? Are we out of juice boxes? We've been out for a while. This is serious. I need a juice box for Lucas. Kid needs a nap in a juice box, not know where any juice boxes are. Yeah, but we don't we don't have any juice boxes. It makes the dog sad. The other dog is hiding. How's she doing? Hi other dog. How you doing? It's very hard to feed her today. She's, she's having a hard day. I'm expecting a woman to come back in a couple of minutes. She's walking down to Walgreens okay. to get $25 for her first ever Bitcoin purchase. Yay! You can handle that, right? She needs to be walking. All right, I'll take her through the whole thing. Just radio me when she's here. There's a lot of something happening here. We're color coding. We're color coding. Okay. There's no juice boxes. There isn't anywhere I can just get a juice box. I can't get that at the gas station. Lucas? The bad news is there are no juice boxes in this building. The good news is there's a cooler up front and you can have a can of anything you want. Because I have you. failed you on a juice box and for that I feel sad. You can do it with that? Yeah. Okay. So I'm also going to score these so they'll bend easily. Yeah? It's going to be fun. You don't, you don't have to. We've got a break right there. Yeah. And we saw how well the shear. This is 16 gauge. That can only do up to 22 gauge. Oh, okay. So you score it and you bend it and it's good to go. Yeah? I watched it on YouTube. So oh, well, you'll you be know. fine. Okay. It'll work. It'll work exactly how I plan it to work the first try. It'll be awesome. Just you watch. Okay. Got that motor mounted yet? Almost. Okay. I don't have any Your dad time. walked away. What are you going to do? Huh? Your dad left you. You've been abandoned. I'm just waiting for Batman.
Hey Batman, mm. close the door. What's calling my name? I don't know if it was just a glitch or something, but I thought you should know that I just used the faucet and it was bubbling. What faucet? Okay. It's getting so hot, it's lobby. boiling. It There's bubbles coming out of it? It's a lot. Okay. <laughs> There might be a weird air hiccup because of the air hiccup because of the uh, when I worked on the open doors faucet. Oh, okay. Just sharing because I'm supposed to tell you those things. You should uh, spend a time now. I guess it's not extra. But anyway, I will keep it mine. Oh, I think I got us a lathe. Oh yeah. Yep. Make sure the forklift is fully charged. It's just an ash pan. Yes. Yeah, but I'm building it. Oh, okay. You know, I, I don't do shit lately. You know me. Catch me outside. How about that? Uh, I shouldn't do this. I'm not going to try to score anything. Not at least not on this one. It's a little too fun. I don't want it to. i just hang it over the edge of something. Smack it with a hammer. Yeah, it's probably going to be Bonus points if you got a piece of angle iron to work off I've of. I've got a couple pieces okay. of angle iron I'm going to grab. Some with a sharp outside edge and you're good. Yep. That's going to be my point. I, uh, the mount is ready, everything's ready. I just need to bolt it on. Okay. Oh, bolt man. it on. So how are you going to get that big ass mount inside there? Huh? How are you going to get that big ass mount inside there? Doing it inside. That's what I would have done, is put the, you want to sandwich mm -hmm. the thin shitty plastic between two pieces of metal. But worst case, what you do is you glue the hell out of that onto there, but that's not it's not very strong when everything's on the outside. Yeah. Yeah. No, I can uh I'll make it work so it's on the inside now. Alright. The the idea is to have this be as strong as possible. Yeah. And don't cut 
the plastic because the plastic's really weedly. What we might do is reinforce the inside of the plastic mm -hmm. with, uh, like, fill it with uh, great stuff or something like that for a little bit. Just something to stiffen it up because it's it's really weedly. Well, given that it's a pusher, yeah, you might be able to get away with gluing that on the back of there if you. I don't know. It would look sleeker with it on the inside. I think okay. I can definitely make it work, well, especially now knowing that. Yeah, no, it'll... I believe in you. I'll make it work. Okay. You got got your angle iron. Yeah, you're you're gonna want. Yeah. Okay. OSHA. Let's see if we can make this work. It's gonna be interesting though, for sure. OSHA dog. Dark pit! Sorry we're late a little bit. I had to finish writing a big thing about the dog theft that happened this morning. But Mackie's back and everything's okay. So, we've got viewer mail, which is terribly exciting. We have toilet paper. Yay! Thank you, Danichi. And we have paper towel. Woo! Thank God. Thank Danichi. Oh my God, we've needed paper towels. It's been critical. We have almost enough to, we have been so out of paper towel that somebody's opened this already and gotten into the paper towel. Thank you, sir. Desperate times. By the way, everybody comment yesterday's Denichi's birthday. The blog just went public, so go to yesterday's blog and comment happy birthday to Denichi because we love that man. 516. What's this? It's the monthly supply trip yeah. from Benici. We got we got stock rags and we got soft soap. For sentence. You'll notice that these are no longer the antibacterial soaps. Yeah, good. Thank you, sir. Because we would like not to have MRSA, except except maybe the first. And we got these, which are fun. Yes. My system is I use the green and yellow ones for everything that isn't dishes. And I use the blue ones for dishes. And that way I can know, don't use the green ones when cleaning the dishes. And a new one every Sunday. That's my system. I don't know. Thank you. Thank you, sir. That's the email for today. Made possible by Danichi, whose birthday was yesterday. And you should comment and tell him you love him. Because Danichi runs this day. You guys have fun. That's your email for today. I will see you tomorrow. Well, some of you will see in like 30 seconds. And you guys will be back in an hour. So I don't really know what that will tomorrow is. But we'll be back after lunch. <laughs>
How you doing? Are you making sure to rotate the batteries every day? That one battery I think is fine. Huh? I've been trying to let that one battery charge and it won't. I think it's fine. Alright, try a different one. Just rotate it through. You taking care of the dog? She does not like Batman in a mask. Yeah? Not at all. She's freaking you out. It's hard being that dog. That looks way more better. How you doing? Doing all right. I'm what is this? Yeah. What's what up? the hell are you doing? I'm trying to solder these two wires together poorly. Are you are you noticing? Okay. We'll be back. It's gonna take a minute. And now it's summer! Yay! It's a hard job. Why do I make big money, Bruce? Clearly. At some point soon, we need to do that for the uh, the other one. That'll be a fun uh, time. I don't want to move the dust bill first. That'll be the one first. So much stuff. What what you what you do? I actually what you do? I'm sorry, I'm about to be um, Yeah, you did it right. Yeah, and then I put the um, shovel. I uh, that. Yeah. Oh, look at that. And then I put the little red and black so we know which one because that's all brown. Okay. Cool. That looks um, good. But I was curious because this is the same gauge or similar gauge as this one. Yeah, just solder it right. Don't solder it to the pigtail. Solder it right under the thing. How would you want me to get about this plastic? Just really. Cut it off. Really? You're going to be smart enough to fly an airplane. You're smart enough to figure that out. I believe in you. I would. I would use an exacto. You could do it with those, but I do it. We we have we have exacto knives just for this. You're hardcore. I like to think so. What you making? Uh, this is a tabletop for a commercial that I'm working on. Oh, cool! Yeah. yeah. So what's with all the paper? Oh, we're sorting them with my color. Okay. We're having people do a lot of paper things and it's really hard when you have the big book of patterns Oh, okay. and they're all like sorted by children's designs. Well, that's cool. What if I want yellow designs? Okay. Sick em. Attack! Cool. We have a lot of this. And now we're laser cuttering it. Laser yes, cutting it. Laser cutting it. Sure. So this is one thing that we've got. Okay, and that's a how many layers? Fourteen. Okay. And then the other thing that we've got. And this is all just experimental stuff that we're working on. I like those. And we're selling these. Like, you can get these on yeah, our these website. On our, on our Etsy. Cool. Pack of three. It's math. I like math. So much math. Dark bulb. Today's Captain's Blog is made possible by a grant from Tom.
Thank you, sir.